Good evening, this is Viewpoint. I'm Zakhar Jacob. The Eidgah Medan controversy may have hit the pause button temporarily, but it is far from over. While in Bangalore, the Supreme Court had yesterday given an interim stay in Hubali, the Karnataka High Court in a late night order gave the go ahead. Today, there were Ganesh Puja festivities outside, inside the Eidgah Medan, and the day passed off relatively peacefully without any incident. What did lead to some tensions was Sri Ram Sene and Hindu Mahasabha folks there trying to install Savarkar posters along with the Ganesh Pandals. Has Savarkar become the number one issue in Karnataka ahead of next year's polls? After a dramatic midnight hearing in which the Karnataka High Court turned down a Muslim body's plea, an idol of Ganesh was installed at the Eidgah Maidan in Hubali. The Ganesha idols have been installed here. One is the smaller one and one is the uh, huge uh, Ganesha idol that has been installed at Eidgah Maidan amid the huge uh, police deployment. So there are a lot of uh, conditions that have been put forth uh, to this particular organization who has been given a permission. But adding to an already tense situation was the re-emergence of Savarkar posters. So we are here in Nagarbavi and in one such location you have Savarkar's photo and Bal Gangadhar Tilak's photo being put up. Uh, at the same time, uh, we've had the organizers distributing books on Savarkar to the nearby residents. In the last few weeks, Savarkar has become a major flashpoint in Karnataka politics. From fierce clashes dramatic confrontations and even a Savarkar Yatra. We have said that the Karnataka 10,000 Sarvajanik Ganesh Mantap we will put a photo of Savarkar in the same way. 1,500 Mantap we have put a photo of Savarkar in the same way. So whether it is Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations at Eidgah Maidans or putting the spotlight on Savarkar, one of the most debated figures in Indian history, ahead of next year's assembly elections in Karnataka, is the politics of polarization going to dominate? All right, joining us on the big talking point, uh, the big Karnataka debate on Viewpoint this evening, S. Prakash, is spokesperson of the Karnataka BJP, Rajesh Kalappa, joining us uh, in his capacity as an advocate in the Supreme Court. Nasir Hussain Ustad, a senior leader of the JDS, Aditya Srinivasan, advocate and R.K. Upadhyay, uh, senior journalist, joining us. First things first, uh, yesterday when the Karnataka High Court, the Dharwad bench gave a very specific order that yes, you can go ahead with Ganesh Puja celebrations in Hubali Eidgah Maidan, but it also specifically, the, cor the corporation head at there had said, specifically that there can only be the idol of Lord Ganesh, no other posters or banners. Why then are organization, organizations like the Sri Ram Sene, Hindu Mahasabha, etc. deliberately trying to install Savarkar posters? After, as far as I know, he was, not a, he was not a particularly big believer in God. He was an atheist from whatever biographies I've read. And more importantly, why should there be anybody else's pictures along with that, uh, uh, that of a God idol? S. Prakash. Sir, the ish controversy over Savarkar was started by Congress party. I don't know what, what issues they have against Savarkar. Indira Gandhi releases his commemorative stamp. Sidramaya government names a park after Savarkar. Suddenly, in the last one or two years, Savarkar becomes their head figure. Needlessly, controversies are created in, in the name of Savarkar. History is retold, distorted history is retold by the congressman, blatantly calling him a bootlicker, traitor, hurting the feelings of lakhs of Savarkar lovers and the, those who respect the freedom fighters. No, no, that, no, that part I agree, Sidramaya was the one who started it, but tell me today in Hubali, Sri Ram Sene, Pramod Mutalik, uh, the Hindu Mahasabha, who are these people? Are they B team of Congress party or are they, no, uh, they people who follow your ideology? But they are keeping the Savarkar photo in the pendal over various other places, not at the Kittur Chennamma Maidan ground where High Court has permitted installing Ganesha idol. It is not Eidgah Maidan. 
I mean, let please correct mm. it. it. The Maidan belongs to Hubli Municipal Corporation. It is named after Kira, Rani Kittur Chandamma. Mm. So there. That is in yeah, a legal please. dispute, but that, that's fine. Let the courts decide on no, that. No, that's but not no, illegal. No, no, dispute. can I that's ask one, one, one question? Sir, Le please, leave, please. Sir, leave that, leave that ground aside. Why should they place any human being's poster next to that of a god? Have you seen, you have seen Ganesha Abba in Bengaluru, other cities for the last 20, 30 sir, years. Have you seen pictures of humans next to god? Sir, keeping the freedom fighters photo beside the Ganesha or putting the po uh, posters in front of the Penda should definitely is an inspiring uh, okay. event. Why there's nothing wrong in it, but that should not become a controversial issue for anyone. Those who respect uh, Savarkar respect. If Rajesh you, don't Kalapa, have respect, if you can put up posters of Nehru and Gandhi, why can't you put up posters of Savarkar? What is the issue? What is the problem that left historians and other liberals have with Savarkar? Why don't you accept that he was just as much a freedom fighter and a proud son of this country as anybody else was, something that even Indira Gandhi acknowledged, as Mr. Prakash said? No, I have no uh, issue with uh, the picture of Mr. Savarkar being anywhere. I think so long as uh, he has contributed even uh, half a kg to the uh, freedom struggle, I have no issue at all with Savarkar's uh, picture being there. Now, what do you mean by half a kg to the freedom struggle? No, he has contributed. He has, he's enlisted as a freedom fighter. And uh, Indraji also had uh, released his stamp. And he lived for a long time. So he was enlisted as a freedom fighter. So, so do you so agree that true? the narrative around him, the historical narrative around him, which we were which we were accustomed to for the last 50, 60 years, was A, factually incorrect, and B, the byproduct of, let's say, intolerance by a certain section of historians and political parties as well, that they did not want to view him as just as much as a freedom fighter as they would view a Patel or a Nehru or a Gandhi? No, I can only say that uh, he had, uh, you know, he was also accused in the mother, Gandhi murder trial. So that may have kind of blighted his chances of being in the high pantheon of, uh, you know, freedom fighters. But other, otherwise, his contribution to the freedom struggle, nobody can deny. So as far as the legal question uh, between Hubali and Bangalore, in the Bangalore case, of course, uh, the Supreme Court yesterday gave an interim stay. Mr. Prakash's contention is Hubali is different. Uh, he says there is no dispute here. It is a corporation land, and uh, which is why the Karnataka High Court, the single bench, single judge bench, uh, also ruled in favor of the municipality and the corporation and said that you can have Ganesh festival there. No, I, you see, I, 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 I don't have a fixed view on this, actually, uh, Zaka. But let me tell you that uh, if a court has decided one way or another, I think the court will eventually have to go into the title. Whether somebody has a title, whether somebody doesn't have a title. If property belongs to X, uh, is uh, being sought to be taken over by the state, then I think it, it ought to be a genuinely title suit. It can't be the high court, which is deciding one way or another. It has to be a title suit and it has to emanate from a suit. This is my uh, view from on in, whether in regard to Bangalore Eidga, Eidga or in re regard to the Ubali Eidga. But, but and, Nasir, uh, Nasir Hussain, 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 the, the law functions on the question of precedent. Uh, if there is a judgment from the Supreme Court uh, as late as yesterday evening that in the Bangalore Eidga Maidan, the status quo will continue, the Anjuman Islami went back to the Karnataka High Court using that precedent to challenge uh, and give the same verdict as far as Hubli uh, Maidan is concerned as well. Whereas the court declined that view saying that the case is different. So is the law not working as a precedent? Are judgments of the Supreme Court not working you as see, a precedent? Article 1 of the na Constitution. Na Nasir, Nasir, Nasir Hussain, yeah. Or it, should we accept that the case is different? As Mr. Prakash says, there is no dispute. This is a corporation land. Look, uh, I don't want to get into the technicalities of the legal aspect of the particular Hubli and the other land. Here, the matter is very much clear. The intent of the Hindutva process is to find the communal harmony, disturb the cordial relation between the Hindus and the Muslims. The, the intent is very much clear. No, but today, Ganesh, uh, uh, it's uh, happened in Hubali. There was no law and order issue. Why, why are you saying that the intent is to make law and order issue? There was no law and order issue. Couple of minutes. Hmm. Here, Lord Ganesha festival was celebrated in India to unite the Indians in the fight against the Britishers in the freedom struggle. Now, these trouble mongers are bringing up issues so that the communal harmony is uh, torn away, torn apart, and we could divide India. 
and uh, they are putting up the Veer Savarkar photo and uh, Tilak photo. Whereas both the leaders, which I know, one is from the Hindu Mahasabha and one is from the Congress, Lokmanya Tilak. Here they are putting up a joint uh, alliance between the uh, RSS and the uh, Congress party. I am unable to no, understand. No, no, but Nasir Hussain Sahib, you said, no, no, Nasir Hussain Sahib, you said they are doing they are this, this deliberately to provoke law and order situation. High Court gave a clearance. The Ganesh Abba happened in Hubali today. No incident happened. Everything was fine. There was no communal flare-up. That is what I am trying. That is what I am trying to tell. Is Ganesha festival is celebrated in Islam, and uh, always Ganesha festival is celebrated. In our, it was started up by Lokmana Tilak in public places to unite the country against the Britishers. So, to, so uh, if, if, it was, if, if yeah. it was done to unite the country in the 1920s and 30s, why can't the same apply in the, in the 2000s? Why can't it, the same apply in 2022? Definitely, it is, it is celebrated in every corner, every area. Unless when you go and celebrate in a place, in a Ibiza, what significance uh, does it have? Do you expect any uh, Christian or a Buddhist to come and celebrate their festival in a, before a temple? Okay. You know, this is the question I am telling. Is Lord Ganesha is a national hero for the Indians because uh, the role of the Ganesha festivals in India was to unite. No, no. The Precisely Indian why you should not have a problem with Ganesha Habba being celebrated in the Idga Maidan or whether no, it's no in Bangalore or Hubali. But anyway, but but yeah, I think I think one 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 significant question, R K Padhyay, yeah, is you know today in Karnataka 2022 we are discussing Savarkar, we are discussing Ganesh Habba, we are discussing Idga Maidan, who has property deed. These are all issues from the 18th century, 19th century, and today even as we speak. Bangalore is flooded. Everybody yes. is seeing visuals of what has happened at the Outer Ring Road, what has happened at Martha Ali, what has happened at Bilandur. I mean, it's ridiculous. Should, shouldn't that be the number one talking point for the citizens and the political parties, more importantly, <laughs> rather than right. who was a freedom fighter and which god we can celebrate and which god we cannot celebrate? Yeah, that's Precisely, Zaka. I think that should be the issue the administrators and the politicians and people who are in power should be tackling. Instead of, you know, getting into this petty fogging of this kind of incidents. I mean, it's most unfortunate. Uh, you know, I'm, a, I also, I'm not a fan of uh, Savarkar being projected in the Ganesha festival. These festivals are meant to be you know, just festivities where people go, uh, go before God and whatever, you know. But why bring in Savarkar to that? You see, that is, I mean, you look at the statement of the Congress spokesman. So that's precisely the reason why BJP wants to do it. He is questioning uh, credentials of Savarkar as a freedom fighter. I mean, the man who spent 14 years in Kalapani because he was a freedom fighter, you question his credentials. And the man who, you know, was the first one to set up the secret society when he was in London, fighting for the freedom of uh, India. And you question his credentials. So that's the reason why, you know, the BJP people also get provoked and said, look, we will uh, project uh, Savarkar. So, but I, I agree with you that, you know, these are not the times when we should be talking about uh, uh, Savarkar or whether, uh, uh, you know, Ganesha should be put uh, put up at uh, Idga Maidan or not. Because Eidga Maidan also, I mean, Chamaraj Pet Eidga Maidan. I, I'm a resident of Chamaraj Pet, and this is Eidga Maidan is just about one kilometer away. And this is a ground where you know children play, and we all have played cricket as youngsters in that place. And you have uh, you know twice a year you have this uh, you know Muslim uh, prayers. Mm. That's about it, and it should be kept like that. Why try to put uh, Ganesha uh, there? There are lots of places where Ganeshas have been installed. People go there and pay their uh, respects. Why do you want to do it on this particular ground also? Okay, so uh, I'll come to Aditya Srinivasan in one second, but S. Prakash, please respond. Both those points that R.K. Upadhyay made, number one, you should be talking about the flood situation, what your government is doing to uh, relieve the pain of the people, uh, and number two, what he said, you know, there are thousands of places in Bangalore city itself, every street corner has a Ganesh Abba. Why do you want to do it in the Eidgah Maidan itself? Sir, what happened in Chambra's Petty? The MLA there, Mr. Zamir Ahmad Khan, provoked the people that you cannot hold Ganesha Chaturthi on this ground. When he said that, when it was established that the ground belongs to the state government, revenue department, till now it was called as an Eidga Maidan. Nobody wanted to celebrate any Ganesh Chaturthi on that ground. When he made that comment, when the land belongs to the government, anyone can observe their festival, even Christians can observe their festival on that ground. 
nothing should nothing will prevent that but the supreme court has put a uh, 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 given a status quo order saying that the title has to be established once the title of the ground is established there there cannot be any other program as mr ramkrishna upadhyay put it he stays there and he knows the uh, very basic uh, knowledge of the ground many play cricket and uh, goats are sold there during the bakri season and lot of things activities do go on but when you provoke when you deny uh, our uh, observation of festival on a government property certainly it becomes controversial okay now respond also to the, the yeah top. the floods i mean shouldn't that be the number one priority of the state so we are witnessing one of the more record rainfall in bangladesh even today it is raining we have never seen for such a long time uh, such heavy rain in bangalore city of course uh, uh, there are certain parts of the city is inundated so a chief minister will, will be visiting all those areas tomorrow taking the uh, stock of the situation and providing relief to the uh, distressed we, uh, even in ramnagar the uh, raining is to, uh, it has rained heavily but but, but prakash avare prakash avare you know this has been the case for 20 years and i'm not saying bjp is the, uh, the one responsible. responsible for it even when congress was there they couldn't do anything about it even when jds was in power they couldn't do anything about it ultimately poor bangaloreans are the ones suffering and frankly it's only been getting worse every year it's not been getting better it's been getting worse every year I, I accept that the uh, people are suffering due to the uh, water uh, clogging many problem related to the rainfall the permanent solution has to be found one one reason for this is uh, un, uh, unplanned growth of bangalore city wherever today the water is blocked there so many flats have come up the uh, builders care, do not have any care for the building bylaws they have built and they have blocked all the outlets for for the uh, so i agree but who blocked. allowed those buildings to come up in the first place on top of lake beds uh, builder lobbies obviously paying off bbmp contractors politicians local mlas and it's been happening over a period of time why why are we continuing Sir. to say unplanned development of course everybody knows it's unplanned development but anyway aditya shrinivasan has been waiting very patiently so let me go to him aditya i think the the contention that was put forth before the supreme court as far as the idga maidan yesterday was concerned and the supreme court asked a very rightful question if for 200 years the status quo ante was maintained then why do you want to change the status quo and two if you have any further litigation to uh, conduct as per as per the you know title deed or property papers revenue receipts then you go back and agitate before the uh, high court what is wrong in that stand taken by the supreme court it's uh, the status quo maintain the status quo no i don't think there's as such anything wrong uh in the in the position taken by the supreme court particularly since uh, as you would have seen as you would have noticed zaka the supreme court hasn't really decided the issue as to the title of the property i think that that question is still open to be agitated before the high court the supreme court came in to deal with that very very specific issue which was more in the, in the nature of really a political issue as to whether or not ganesh chaturthi could be held in the uh, idga maidan in in uh, jamnaj pet uh today and that question although the supreme court sort of uh, passed an interim order it sort of effectively said that you can't do it uh, today now i think what's happened at uh, at, at uh, uh, hopefully in darwad is that the the high court has i think correctly adjudicated and uh, found that the the facts of the the two maidans are not quite the same that there's a that the, the question of title i think uh, had been admitted or conceded by the petitioners in the case of Hubli and Dhaba which is not the case uh in um, in Bengaluru so i think the it, it's it's not perhaps correct to suggest that the supreme court in terim order uh, operates as a precedent as far as all maidans no, are can concerned I, can i ask one question though as far as the bengaluru idga maidan uh, controversy is concerned even the waqf board there which challenged this before the supreme court and they got some interim relief yesterday even they have admitted that they do not have the property papers now i find that very surprising why would you not have the property papers secondly their contention is that this was a property perhaps built by you know in, in uh, when the raja of mysore was ruling uh, it was perhaps given by the raja of mysore to the waqf board and and it got passed on to a uh, caretaker administration and so on and uh, as as from 1974 75 after the last survey happened by the bbmp they say that they have revenue records would that qualify that this is their land i mean we we, we would really have to look into the detail of that 
Mm. We have to look into the detail of that, Zaka. I, I, I'm not an expert by any means in uh, in work property law. Okay. Uh, maybe there are others on the panel who are, and they might be able to speak to the, uh, to, you know. Mr. Badhya, and then, then I'll go to Bridges. Yeah, Mr. Badhya, I wanted to make a point. Yeah. So during, during Maharaja's time, there was no work board. I mean, the work board came only after independence. I think in the 1950s or something, the work True. board act was uh, passed. So until then, there was no work board. So there was no question of this land being given to the uh, you know, work board. So this land, uh, you know, uh, there is some ambiguity about the, uh, you know, the ownership of the land, which is now being agitated. The, gov the government claims that, you know, the, it belongs to the now revenue department. And all this, I think, has, will have to be, uh, you know, um, argued in front no, of the why, why did it decide. come up now? After all, like, like you've been saying, you're a resident of that area. This, this, this ground has been there for the last many decades. Why yes. is the ownership being challenged now? That's precisely because of, uh, you know, these contentious issues. But I, I think I'm as a resident, I would say that it should remain as it is. You know, uh, I mean, you allow it as a playground. There are half a dozen schools around that area for whom there is no playground at all. And uh, every playground is being encroached upon. So I don't want uh, either a Ganesha festival or, or a Christmas festival or whatever being held there because okay. you're taking away the rights of the children. Bridges. Let them play there. So let it remain a playground. Okay, Bridgesh. Zaka, to the best of my knowledge, I think the Waqf Board has passed, uh, you know, has, uh, has uh, declared this uh, land as a Waqf land. To the best of my information, I may be wrong. Hmm. So I'm not a lawyer in this matter, but uh, for, this is from what I've read. Yeah, I've the read Waqf Board may have passed Waqf it as a Waqf property, property, but then where are those property papers? Somebody should have the title deed. It's quite possible. Quite, but, you know, the, the uh, if I may only inform you that the Revenue Act itself, it uh, allows for certain... Uh, land papers which are missing and to say that you know we, we create a certain contemporaneous document and uh, this document can be if certain papers are missing they can be substituted or they can be uh, entirely done away with in, on the basis of presumption so this is uh, what the Karnataka Revenue, Land Revenue Act allows for I, I don't know what benefit or uh, what disbenefit the either either of the parties will get but this is only as a, as a position of law that I'm telling you no no uh, while I get that, and I want to ask Nasir Hussain uh, uh, Ustad this, the, the fact is, let's say you have a property, I have a property, ownership of that property is through a sale deed, is through a property paper. Yes. And if the waqf, waqf is the owner of this property, then it, it is incumbent upon the Waqf to produce the property document. Definitely. Where is the property Definitely. document? Well, here, everyone agrees upon one thing, that is, the land is the Idga land. What is the Idga land? Idra is a place where the Muslims offer their prayers on the day of Eid. And that is there throughout the world. Wherever, whichever city is there, there is the Idra where Muslims offer their Eid prayers twice a year. That is the major Eid is the Ramzan and the Bakri. This is the common fact. Once it is the Idra land, it is meant for the prayers of the two uh, auspicious days. And yet there is no dispute. Everyone knows that it is the Idra land. No, no, no. Sir, how do you, sir, no, no. For, for, sir, sir, first of all, if you, uh, if you are saying it is Eidgah land, no, no, once, once again, either, either the, either the, once again, sir, sir, once again, once again, either the owners of that Eidgah say that it has been registered in our, in our name, or they show some trust or somebody which uh, claims ownership to this, again, via property papers. How do you claim, Mr. Upadhyay, all he said was this is a playground. And we have playgrounds in no, uh, no, in no, no. all cities. There are corporation-run playgrounds everywhere. Where of Eid is observed there. R.K. Upayadeji is saying, people use that ground for playing. That is a different uh, issue. But it is Eid where they are. Eid Namas are performed that. Okay, Mr. Mr. Hussain, give me one one second. I'm getting live pictures. I want to go to I want to go to those live pictures. They're coming from Hubali. This is uh, posters of Savarkar. Let's go full frame to those pictures. Posters of Savarkar being put up at the, this particular contentious Eidgah Maidan in, uh, uh, in Hubali. This was exactly what the Corporation Commissioner had ordered not to do. In fact, the Karnataka High Court had also upheld that. The Corporation Commissioner had simply said uh, only the Ganesh idol should be there. Now, this poster is being put in a way, at least from these pictures, what I can see is it's being put in a way that even the Ganesha idol is being uh, hidden by the way in which this poster is being put up. Uh, Ritu is joining me live from the Eidgah Maidan. Uh, Ritu, this is exactly what the Corporation Commissioner said should not happen. So, who are these people who are putting up this poster? 
Yes, exactly. We are reporting from Idga Maidan here in the Hubli, and just behind me, you can see the picture of the Savarkar along with the Bal Gangadhar Tilak that is very much just behind the Ganesha idol and has been erected here. But this is a kind of a violation of the corporation rule and the, uh, you know, the conditions that were been put forth to this particular Hindu organization who has been given a permission in to install a Ganesha idol. But here is that you can see Savarkar's a picture along with Bal Gangadhar with uh, their organization name and just front of the banner you see there's also a Ganesha idol being placed but meanwhile there's a huge crowd that has turned up at this Maidan because this is the very first time where the Ganesha idol has been installed here people are coming here to uh, offer their prayers they are all here in a very huge number they are turning up since morning so that's the kind of a regular movement that we're getting to see but this is a major step major development that we're bringing out to you because right here you see the Pramod Mutalik Sri Ram Singh a leader in fact was here he also gave a call to this campaign where he said the Savakas pictures will be put up where all the Ganesha Pandals will be placed across Karnataka and exactly that is happening over here just outside of me there's a huge police deployment to ensure that no untoward incidents takes place but meanwhile there's a huge crowd that is present here that you can see who have all turned up for the special puja that is going to be taking place here where there will be many leaders as well who will be present here along with the local leaders union minister might also turn up that we are learning and farmer cm jagdish shetter who had also visited the, the maidan in the morning might also turn up as we are learning from our sources but this is a huge development that we're getting to see because karnataka is witnessing a savaka draw from a long time that we started from august 15 till date there has been a major development that had taken place across karnataka name any district and there has been an installation of the savaka picture and you see where okay. some places the police had to take that strict action out there by removing the posters whether it is about Tumkur or the other places now remember there was also a clash that broke out in the Shumoga related to the Savarkar's picture and we all saw what kind of developments that took place there but this is a very much a controversial Maidan that we are reporting from and has been in a controversy for a very long time starting from 1992 now with all that this is the fight that the Hindu organizations had made from past five years that they wanted Ganesha idol to be installed here for that the corporation had placed few conditions that this Hindu organization will have to stick by there shouldn't be any kind of banners advertisement or any kind of a banners that has to be displayed so that was the condition that was been put forth by the commission by the commissioner of the corporation but what exactly is happening just behind me you can see the poster the picture of the picture has been uh, placed here. The Savakas picture is here along with the Bal Gangadhar. So that's something that we're getting to see. But of course, we'll have to see to what kind of a step now the commissioner will also take up. Now, what exactly was being conveyed to this particular organization? Now, remember, there were so many applications that the commissioner had received of all that this particular organization named Chennama organization from this uh, Hubli had got the permission to install the idol. Of course, this Maidan was in the news for a long time. and but now now there is a huge security that has been deployed outside of this Maidan, in fact around the whole of the Chennama circle in the Hubli to ensure no untoward incidents takes place. But here are the devotees, the Hindu organization members, the locals of Hubli are turning up in a huge number to offer their prayers, are here to see Ganesha idol too because this is happening for the very first time here in the Hubli which has been a controversial ground. All right, Ritu, very quickly, has there been any response from the district administration, from the corporation commissioner or from the police chief there? Because in yesterday's order from the Hubli Darwar Principal Corporation uh, Commissioner, the order clearly said only the idol should be there and nothing else. This is, this is a banner that has just been installed in some sometime now. We'll have to see there are most likely leaders who will be turning up to this place, whether the commissioner is aware of Objection that will be raised from the corporation commissioner because that's the party who was, that's the organization, that's the civic authority who was given this organization a permission. But meanwhile, you see there's a huge celebration that is taking place here in the Hubli. But 
and of course we'll have to see whether what kind of a violation that had taken place here whether this organization was allowed was been told that the sawaka picture should be put up here or not but you see there all right. are all that the big celebration taking place here at the idga maidan the very much a controversial maidan but of course from the corporation this was strictly been told there were almost nine rules that were been placed in front of this organization to install the idol here but now there is a kind of a violation which did not happen all right ritu we we'll leave it to that uh, uh, we we will have to unfortunately move on but but thank you very much uh, this is what has happened in hubali uh, a savarkar poster has been placed in the same pandal as uh, the ganesh idol in violation of the corporation commissioner's order uh, that was issued late last night that's a wrap anusha joining you with the biggest exclusive